The morning of the 29th of June, delegates start coming in at the Speak Resort Mnyonyo, ready for the conference dubbed Making Finance Work for Africa that took place in Kampala. With the recent rise in insecurity cases, the world round security detail was beefed up. At the entrance, all delegates were obliged to register and get accreditation. However, some delegates took this time to get in contact and build networks. The bell was used as a sign to show things were ready to roll in the Victoria Ballroom. Our objective is to tap into the African knowledge and experience. The African policy paper is expected to provide clear guidelines on agricultural finance in Africa. We wish to incorporate this knowledge into the G20 policy paper, framework and the guidelines on agricultural finance. And we hope that we can use this conference to join forces and to engage in a constructive dialogue. Let us use the chance to push together forward the frontier of rural and agricultural finance. It being a meeting with many nationalities, translation was a key factor. Everyone was all ears, from speaker to speaker, lest they miss out on being a part of this big venture, Africa's agricultural development. Coffee breaks in between the presentations made sure the delegates were awake and alert throughout the meeting. Day two of the conference, members were divided into discussion groups. Here, they were given the mandate to tackle different topics for efficiency in the final document. The key factor being successful initiatives and approaches from agricultural and financial sectors. We had a group discussing training and technical support. Another one tackled funding, just to mention but a few. After a busy day of listening to experts and giving their views as well, delegates were treated to a sumptuous meal under the best of ambience. During the lunch break, the draft committee members sat to discuss the vital principles intended to convey suggestions for actions on the development of agriculture in Africa. The idea is to share these principles with the various stakeholders uh, through uh, the different participants engaging in their countries with the issues and uh, hopefully there will be some adoption of it. They say work without play makes Jack a dull boy. So on the third day of the conference, all the laptops, headphones, microphones, pen and paper were put away. All the delegates embarked on a field trip around the country. The first group was off to Entebbe. Their first stop was at a unique farmer's farm, a biofarmer. The delegates were taken through the process of choosing the best fruits from organic growers, grading and packing the produce for export. The curious delegates then followed the produce to its next stop, Das Handling Limited, an exporting farm, just to be sure the produce was actually for export. After testing the fruits of agricultural development projects, it was time to go back and witness the final handing over of the document. Excitement was clear on their faces, a sign that truly the conference had met its goal. However, the document with the policies was not going to be handed over without a discussion. So members were invited to float amendments and after all, the changes were put in place. symbolically <laughs> hand this over <laughs> to Madame Doasi okay. for, for her to take this to deepen the course.